Hey, what's up, guys? It's your one only athletic card gamer here. Other time, guys, with another awesome Call of Duty Ghost video. And uh, today, I'll bring you guys a uh, gun comparison. Today, I'll be comparing the S2010 and the AK-12, which are personally two guns I absolutely do love. I've been using these guns since the start of Call of Duty. I've been putting sounds on them, going around the map, destroying, ripping teams apart, dropping kill streaks, and now. I got to compare them, which is absolutely dope, and there's a lot of stuff about these two guns I did not know about, so um, that's really, really exciting. So hopefully you guys could watch this video, learn something about it, and become a great Call of Duty player or improve your Call of Duty skills, because that's obviously the game plan of my channel. Now, the damage of the S2010 is 35 to 20. That's all depending on the range, and the AK-12 has a damage of 49 to 25, once again, depending on the range. So you can see that the AK-12 has a huge margin difference um, between damages, know that about the AK-12 is a lot higher damage um, than the S2010. Now, the head multiplier is absolutely crazy. Pretty much the S2010 has a 1.5 times head multiplier, and the AK-12 has a 1.4 times multiplier, which is something I was not expecting personally. Um, I actually thought, when I first saw that the damage was that high, or I found out that the damage was that high, you know, I was sort of like, what? How did the head multiplier get uh, go down and not be as high as the S2010? So something I had a little bit of, a little bit confusing, obviously personally for me, because I was actually not expecting that. But something really interesting, I actually thought um, the penetration for both of these guns are average. You know, personally for me, it doesn't really make a difference. You know, obviously if you are a person that actually actually cares about your penetration of your gun, um, you can put on armor piercing. I don't really recommend it. it doesn't really make a difference personally because I dropped a bunch of big kill streaks and I never used really any armor piercing. So that's always something up, up to you guys. Um, where it gets a little interesting is the rate of fire. So pretty much the S2010, as you guys know, has a very low damage, 35 to 20, but it makes up for it, which is pretty much a pretty dope, I thought, uh, rate of fire at 759 RPMs, and the AK-12 has a 696, or 697, pretty much, um, which is pretty darn dope, because, um, you sort of see that the AK-12, although it has the highest damage, its RPM, or its rate of fire is a lot lower, but the SU-2010, who has a lower damage, has a higher RPM, which I thought was pretty cool. We sort of balanced each other out, um, which I thought was pretty darn dope and something I actually didn't really know about um, when playing with both of these guns. Um, the next thing is the, the clip size. Pretty much they're both average size. Um, standard 30 bullets to start off, 45 if you have extended clips. Nothing really big there. Um, you know, like I said, standard. Um, reload time is interesting. Pretty much the S2010 has a 2.8 uh, second reload time. AK-12 is a 3.267 second reload time, which I thought was absolutely crazy. Um, pretty much the AK-12 really, really is in need of sleight of hand if you're going to be playing with it. No doubt about it. It's for sure um, the slowest reload in its class. So, no doubt about it. Sleight of hand is greatly and strongly recommended for the for the uh, AK-12 personally, I think. And the reload time when the ammos are empty, pretty much when the clip is empty, or the, yeah, pretty much the clip is empty, is 3.3 seconds for the S2010, and 3.6 seconds for the AK-12, um, there you can see it's a lot closer, and, uh, you know, once again, like I said, sleight of hand is greatly recommended for the, um, AK-12, um, next thing is pretty much the range, range or average, uh, for the S2010, and obviously AK-12 is, is good average, it's a good range, and the aim down sight is 0 0.3 seconds for both, um, exactly the same, and, um, another thing I found really interesting is that actually the recoil is a lot better for the, uh, S2010 than the AK-12, although both guns are really good and get pretty much pick people off across the map, the recoil on the S2010 is, uh, pretty much barely not dirty, S2010 has a better recoil than that, less recoil than the AK-12, so that's one thing I really found really interesting, so that's the gun comparison, guys, hope you guys did enjoy, it took me a lot of time to edit, a lot of time to get these stats, so hope you guys can hit leave a like for me. I'd be really appreciated. Leave down below in the comments if you guys have any other recommendations of guns you guys want me to compare. Um, hit the like and favorite button if you guys enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome content. And as always, your one only athletic card gamer. Wish you guys an amazing day.